Hey, this is number one on your list, Magnolia stellata. Okay? So Magnolia stellata, the most noteworthy thing at this time of year that you'll see on Magnolia stellata is it's going to overwinter with these giant uh, floral buds. Magnolias, uh, all of the ones that we're going to do, they all have really large uh, floral buds, and that's what you see out here at the tip. And in the case of uh, the magnolias that we're doing, one of the ways to separate them is on the size and the relative pubescence and the type of pubescence that you'll see uh, on the buds. So magnolia stellata, or star magnolia, its flowers are white. It has uh, upwards of 20 tepals that are fully reflexed, and they're quite narrow, more strap-like, okay? And its bud is really, really pubescent. So it's got this super fuzzy, fuzzy bud. So fuzzy buds in stellata. The leaves are going to be somewhat intermediate, so they're smaller than Magnolia denudata. They're going to be larger than what we see in Magnolia liliiflora that we're going to do in a little bit. Okay. Again, there are a number of cultivars out there. They're, the species type is a pure white, but you will see some cultivars that have a little bit of pink blush to them. You also see more compact or dwarf cultivars, which is important. If you can get the scale behind me, this tree is probably 20 to 25 feet tall. So again, much larger. You know, I see people buying magnolia stellatas and putting them right next to a sidewalk, right next to their home, uh, without realizing or reading the tag that it actually gets quite large. But uh, lots of cultivars out there. Pick the right one for you. The pure white flowers are really prolific, and it's a, a great species to, to add to the landscape. Magnolia stellata.